This is the earnings special on Bloomberg Quint Live. Uh, it was a weak quarter for Tata Global Beverages, uh, considering the fact that, uh, well, uh, we've seen some volatility come through when it comes to its earnings, its revenues as well. And to take us through the quarter's earnings, we are in conversation with Ajoy Mishra. He's the CEO of Tata Global Beverages. Ajoy, uh, thank you so much for joining us at this point in time. Uh, if you could just take us through what we can expect going forward from Tata Global Beverages, considering the volatility and earnings that we've seen, not just for this quarter, but for the previous few quarters, and I wouldn't deny that there have been a few good quarters as well, but there's also some weakness uh, every now and then. When is it that we can see some consistency going forward with respect to growth in the top line as well as the bottom line? Yes, thank you. Uh, I think I'd like to put, uh, put, put, put things in the perspective to say that in the last couple of quarters, the one thing that we have consistently worked towards is to bring back good growth into the business, which is essential for any sustained performance uh, of a profitable kind going forward. Uh, and happy to state that all the steps that we have taken uh, are showing uh, results. And if you look at the last quarter and even the quarter before that, uh, the growth that we have been able to bring back into the India business, which is a very significant contributor to our financial performance uh, has been the best in quite a while uh, with a volume growth in the last quarter of 9% and a value growth of 7% in the India business. Uh, it's been one of our best quarters uh, and actually that lays the foundation for a sustained uh, you know, all-round financial performance going forward. Similarly, uh, even in the international uh, business, uh, we have seen uh, the 8 o'clock coffee uh, business in the U.S. Uh, in the quarter grew by 23% uh, in underlying terms. So I think the real, the real story is growth. Uh, and I would like to put that as, uh, as, as, as the main focus uh, for digestion. Okay, Ajay, so can we say that uh, the growth rate on a quarterly basis will only improve from uh, here onwards, considering the plans that you guys have already set in motion moving into the next three to four quarters? Well, without, uh, you know, giving uh, guidance in such specific terms, obviously the management is working very hard to ensure that the momentum that has been built up should continue. Okay, Ajay, then uh, let me talk a little more about, uh, well, some of your units. And uh, from, from reports, I read that there has been weakness in the UK when it comes to sales. And, of course, uh, we're also looking at some amount of volatility when it comes to the U.S. markets. You did allude to that uh, briefly. Can you tell us a little more about the, the international business and how that's panning out? Yes, so you're right. Um, in UK, our, uh, our uh, revenue and volume... Uh, growth is under pressure for obvious reasons because tea category uh, is on a decline there, led by the decline in black tea uh, category-wise. So actually, we have gained market share. Tetley in the UK for the last few quarters has been gaining market share. Uh, but in absolute terms, because of the category decline, we have not been able to uh, we have not been able to uh, you know uh, show that kind of growth plus it didn't help us that the summer in europe and uk as you all know was a very hot and extended summer so hot beverages like tea uh, do take uh, do take uh, uh, you know a dip so but i think uh, the, the the thing is we have plans to you know go beyond black tea in uk uh, and those plans uh, have been launched. For instance, we've entered new adjacent categories like squash and cold infusions. And we have stepped up our non-black Putin herbal and green tea and specialty tea plays. So those are plans for the U uh, UK. Right. Uh, Ajay, there's naturally a lot of interest with respect to your joint venture with Starbucks. Uh, if you could tell us about, uh, you know, the, your idea about store expansion in India. Also, uh, what is the revenue contribution that uh, your joint venture with Starbucks brings to your consolidated revenues and uh, possible, uh, you know, implications on profitability from the joint venture as well? So, um, as for the accounting standards, 50-50 uh, joint venture 
um, that we have with Starbucks or with Pepsi, uh, we don't get the consolidation into the revenue in terms of our top line, but we do get in terms of profits. Uh, Starbucks is doing, according to us and according to Starbucks Seattle, very well in India. It's, India is uh, in the Starbucks system the fastest growing uh, uh, developing country entry for them in terms of the four or five years into, uh, into entry uh, uh, track record. We, Tata Starbucks has opened its 129th store uh, in Chandigarh. Chandigarh is the eighth city that we have entered after Kolkata, which was the seventh city. So I think by all yardsticks and measures, Starbucks has turned cash positive. Tata Starbucks has. Uh, it's, it's, it's really doing well. Okay, Ajay, and a final question on uh, Tata Coffee, uh, where, uh, well, again, revenue growth has been subdued, and we've seen a decline in EBITDA, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm told this is largely an account of, uh, well, decline in plantation. Uh, again, uh, if you could take us through what's happening with that unit, any updates that you can offer? Yes, so Tata Coffee, uh, which is our subsidiary, is essentially a B2B company, which is largely into uh, instant coffee uh, production. It has coffee plantations, it has some tea plantations. Uh, unfortunately, in the quarter, because of the, uh, the torrential rains uh, that we've experienced in the Kodagu district in Karnataka, along with, of course, Kerala, but they are in Karnataka, uh, we've suffered, uh, we've suffered uh, some crop loss. Uh, uh, and there has been disruption uh, because of the, uh, the nature and the calamity that happened. So the quarter has been affected by that. But despite that, we have, we have shown uh, some growth over the previous year, aided largely by an increase in our instant coffee sales. Uh, so that's been the story for Tata Coffee. Going forward, we expect things to stabilize and we... Uh, we, as you know, have, uh, you know, we're on the verge of opening our new instant coffee, freeze-dried coffee factory in Vietnam by Feb, March. Uh, and that 5,000 metric tons of production will also uh, uh, help uh, Tata Coffee's uh, instant coffee uh, business. Okay, Ajoy, I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining us and talking to us here on Bloomberg Quint. Thank you for your interest.